What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm gonna show you how to record an acoustic guitar to your DAW. For today we're gonna be using our very own R-Track 2x2 but remember everything we talk about today applies to any interface you want to use. And this is also going to apply for any DAW you want to use either on your Mac or PC. Now the first setup we're going to go over today is using one microphone with one channel on our interface. Like I mentioned, we're using our R-Track 2x2 for today, and I already have it all set up to my computer, but if you need help setting up your interface to your DAW or computer, check out all of our videos we have on that. For this setup, I'm also going to be using a condenser microphone, which is our very own RCM Pro, but keep in mind this is going to work for any type of microphone you want to use, whether it's condenser, dynamic, etc. And each mic has its own sound, so keep that in mind when choosing which mic you want to use. Now it doesn't really matter what type of microphone that you use, because whether it's the most expensive microphone or the cheapest one you can find within your budget, the best microphone you can use is the one that you have, so keep that in mind. Now when setting up your microphone, you do want to make sure you have a sturdy enough stand that's going to be able to reach your guitar at the level you're sitting at. We have a bunch of different mic stands on our website that you can check out so you can find the one that fits your needs. So now we can connect our microphone to our interface with an XLR cable. I'm going to take the female end and plug it into my mic. Then I'm going to plug the other end into one of the channels on my interface. For today, we're going to plug it into input 1. One important thing to keep in mind is that if you're using a condenser microphone is that you need to activate phantom power in order for the microphone to receive signal. So I'm going to go ahead and activate phantom power for channel 1 since I plugged my microphone into channel 1. So at this point we can grab our guitar so we can figure out the mic placement to record. A cool thing about using a one mic setup is that you can place it anywhere along the guitar which will change the overall recording. So for example, if I have my microphone pointed towards the sound hole of the guitar, it's going to pick up more of the low end and make it sound a bit bassier. On the opposite side of that, if I have my mic pointed more towards the fretboard or headstock, it's going to give us more of a brighter sound so we can hear more shimmer. So there's really no wrong answer here. You can experiment with all these different placements in order to achieve the sound that you want to get. For today, I'm going to point the microphone in the middle of the guitar where the neck meets the body so I have a balanced sound between the low and the high end. I'm also going to keep the microphone about 12 inches away for that balanced sound so it's not so focused on either the low or the high end. So next I can go into my DAW and create a new track and make sure to set it to input 1 since I'm using input 1 on the interface. So now I can play with the gain knob on input 1 on my interface to adjust the level that's getting picked up by the microphone. At this point I can check out how much level of the guitar is coming through my track here and I can also pay attention to the peak light to see if I have too much volume coming in. So if the guitar is coming in a bit too loud we can either lower the gain or a lot of interfaces come with a pad button that lowers the signal in case we want to use that. So once we're happy with the sound we can hit record and lay down some tracks. Now if your guitar is an acoustic electric like this one here and it has this quarter inch output, you can also expand this setup by plugging your guitar into another channel on your interface. To do that, I'm gonna take a quarter inch instrument cable. I'm gonna plug one end into the guitar, then I'm gonna plug the other end into another channel on my interface. You'll also wanna be sure that the volume on your acoustic electric is turned up and then you can raise the gain knob on input two on your interface. So now you'll see I have level coming into my second track here on top of my first track. So now I have a nice blend between the microphone and the guitar directly plugged in. So now let's lay down some tracks so we can hear how they sound together. Now if you don't have a microphone but you do have the acoustic electric with the quarter inch output, you could just record by plugging it into the interface that way. We usually don't recommend this because it doesn't sound as natural as it does with the microphone, so it's not a complete sound. Now another way we can record acoustic guitar is with two microphones instead of one. There are a few different mic placements we can use with two microphones in order to get different sounds, just like a painter would use different colors to paint a picture. So remember, none of these mic placements are better than the other, it's just all about the picture we're trying to paint. So one of the positions is XY, where we have one microphone on top of the other, creating a 90 degree angle, and you basically want to point the intersection of the two microphones at the guitar. 
The next one is called ORTF, where you have two cardioid microphones facing away at 110 degrees, and basically you want to have one of them facing the neck of the guitar, while the other one is facing towards the bridge or the sound hole of the guitar. And of course there's other setups out there like MS, but for today I'm going to show you the classic AB mic placement. So for this setup you're going to need two mic stands, two XLR cables, and two microphones. Now for the microphones, you can use a matched pair or any two similar microphones. So you can use two dynamic microphones, two condenser microphones, or whatever you have. For today, I'm using two Rockville pencil microphones. So I can go ahead and place each mic on a mic stand. I'm then going to take my XLR cables and plug one mic into input one and the other mic into input two on my interface. Now remember, if you're using two condenser microphones like these ones here, you're going to want to activate phantom power for each channel. We can also go ahead and create two new tracks in our DAW for each microphone. So now I'm going to grab my guitar so we can talk about mic placement. So for this mic setup, we're going to want to follow the 3 to 1 rule. So this rule is really important because it's going to tell us how far away each microphone has to be from each other and how far we have to be away from the microphones with our guitar. This rule is really important because it will help us determine how far away each microphone has to be from each other so we don't get any phase issues. So for example, I have my microphone set 3 feet apart from each other and if we follow the 3 to 1 rule, that means I have to be 1 foot away from the microphones. You can also use visual guides to help you while you're recording. So for example, I put tape in front of each microphone when I knew they were 3 feet apart and I also put tape 1 foot away so I knew where to come back to when recording. You can also experiment and place your mics further away and be further away from your microphones as long as you're following following the 3 to 1 ratio. So what I mean by that is if we wanted to place our mics 6 feet apart from each other, we would just have to be 2 feet away from the microphones. So once we're all set with our mic placement, we're going to want to make sure that the microphones are pointed towards the parts of our guitar that we want to capture. So for this microphone here, I'm going to want to make sure that it's pointed towards the fretboard or the headstock of the guitar. And for this microphone over here, I'm going to want to make sure to point it towards the sound hole and the bridge of the guitar. And before we start recording, we're also going to want to go to our interface and set the level for each microphone equally. We can use these signal indicators on our interface and we can also check the level coming into each track on our DAW to make sure that we're at an equal level. After we've done all that, we can check that we're back at the same distance and hit record. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to record an acoustic guitar with your interface and hopefully it inspires you to go out there and try new things when recording. But of course if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville and we'll see you guys next time.